Hello students, we shall now learn the radius of curvature when the curve is given in polar coordinates. That is, if the curve is given in terms of r, theta, then it is said to be in polar coordinates. Now let us see how to find the radius of curvature when the curve is in polar coordinates. Now here we have now here the question is find the radius of curvature of the cardioid r equal to a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta. Now here the curve given is a cardioid which is in terms of r and theta. So now here we have to use the radius of curvature formula for polar coordinates. The formula for radius of curvature is given by rho equal to now here in the numerator we will be having r square plus dr by d theta the whole square whole to the power of 3 by 2 the whole divided by r square plus 2 multiplied with dr by d theta square minus r multiplied with d square r by d theta square. So this is the formula for radius of curvature when the curve is in the polar coordinates. Now first we have to find dr by d theta and d squared r by d theta square by using this curve and then we have to substitute here in this formula and evaluate the radius of curvature. Let us see that now. Now first let us write the given curve. What is the given curve? It is r equal to a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta. Now first we shall find dr by d theta. So we have to differentiate r with respect to theta. So dr by d theta will be equal to a is a constant which is in multiplication. And then inside the bracket we have to differentiate. The differentiation of 1 is 0 and minus the differentiation of cos theta is minus sin theta. So that minus and minus will get multiplied and it will become plus and we will have sin theta. So now this a gets multiplied and we get dr by d theta to be equal to a sin theta. So therefore dr by d theta is equal to a sin theta. Next we have to differentiate this again with respect to theta and we have to find d square r by d theta squared. So d squared r by d theta squared will be equal to a multiplied with the differentiation of sin theta is cos theta. So now we have found this also. Now these two we have to substitute in our formula. So what will be our value of rho? So the radius of curvature rho will be equal to. Now we have to substitute here. So r square plus dr by d theta the whole square. So a squared sin squared theta whole to the power of 3 by 2 divided by the denominator is r square and then plus 2 multiplied with dr by d theta the whole square. So this is a sin theta. So a square sin square theta minus r multiplied with d squared r by d theta squared which is a cos theta. So r a cos theta. Now we have to simplify this for which we have to substitute the value of r in its place. So what is the value of r? It is the curve given. So r is equal to a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta. Now this we have to substitute in this formula. Now because the formula is quite bigger, what we can do is we can evaluate the numerator separately and denominator separately and then we can substitute it in this uh, row. That is in this formula. So what we shall do is first we will evaluate the numerator. So what is the numerator? The numerator is r square. So r is a 
multiplied with 1 minus cos theta and so it will be a squared multiplied with 1 minus cos theta the whole square plus a square sin squared theta whole to the power of 3 by 2. So now this will be equal to, now this can be expanded by using the formula x minus y the whole square. What is the formula x minus y the whole square is x squared minus 2xy plus y square. So this will be a squared multiplied with, so 1 squared minus 2 cos theta plus cos squared theta plus a squared sin squared theta for so this term whole to the power of 3 by 2. So now next we have to um, simplify this. We can multiply this a squared within this bracket. So this term will be a squared minus 2 a squared cos theta and then this and this we have to multiply. So plus a squared I mean uh, cos squared theta and then this term so plus a squared sine squared theta whole to the power of 3 by 2 now if you see in these two terms a squared is common so we can take it out so this will be equal to a squared minus 2 a squared cos theta plus a squared multiplied with cos squared theta plus sine squared theta whole to the power of 3 by 2. Now, but what is cos squared theta plus sine squared theta? By the trigonometric identity, it is equal to 1. And so, we will be getting this as a square minus 2 a squared cos theta plus a squared whole to the power of 3 by 2. So, that will be equal to, now this a squared plus this a squared, we will be getting it as 2a square then minus 2a squared cos theta whole to the power of 3 by 2. Now we can take 2a square common out here. So this will be equal to 2a squared multiplied with 1 minus cos theta whole to the power of 3 by 2. So now this is actually equal to we can write it as 2a multiplied with so 2a one of the a i will take it here multiplied with 1 minus cos theta whole to the power of 3 by 2 so i have separated like this this term i have separated like this because i wanted to bring r here we, we know that r is equal to a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta it is given here in the question so if you see here what is r r is equal to it's here r is equal to a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta and so because of that here we have to change it as r and so this will be equal to 2a r the whole power 3 by 2 and therefore the value of our numerator is equal to 2a r whole to the power of 3 by 2 so this we have evaluated Next, let us evaluate the denominator separately and then we will substitute in the formula. Now, next, what is the denominator? It is here r square plus 2a square sin square theta minus r a cos theta. Let us simplify this now. So, now the denominator we have taken and written here. What is r? r is equal to a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta. We all know that. So that we will substitute in the place of r. So this the whole squared plus 2a squared sine squared theta minus. So now here also we have to substitute r. So what is r? a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta. So when we substitute that, so we will get a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta. And already we have an a here. So that we will write and then cos theta. So this a and this a will get multiplied and we will have a square. So let us simplify this now. So this will be equal to, now here we have square. So when we take, bring the square and we write here, it will become a squared. 
multiplied with this we have to expand using x minus y the whole square formula so it will be 1 minus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta and then plus 2a squared sine squared theta and we have a negative sign here so minus a multiplied with a will be a squared and then in the bracket uh, we will be having 1 minus cos theta and then this cos theta we have to write now we shall simplify this further by multiplying this a squared inside so we will be getting a squared when we multiply this with 1 minus 2 next these two terms minus 2 a squared cos theta and then this term with this term we have to multiply so when we multiply a we get plus a squared cos squared theta plus this 2a square now what we can do this sine squared theta we can write as 1 minus cos squared theta so we have written it as 1 minus cos squared theta by the trigonometric identity and then we have this minus a squared this cos squared we will multiply inside so when it is multiplied with 1 it is cos theta and then when it is multiplied with cos theta it is cos squared theta and we have a negative sign so minus cos squared theta now simply let us simplify this even more so that's equal to a squared minus 2a squared cos theta plus a squared cos squared theta plus now this and this when it gets multiplied it will be 2a squared and this and this it will be minus 2a squared cos squared theta and next we have to multiply this and this so it will be minus a squared cos theta and then this and this so minus into minus will become plus a squared cos squared theta now further this will be equal to now we will have this a squared as such now here we have minus 2a square cos theta. We will check is there any other term with cos theta alone. So if we, if we see like that we can see that here we have cos theta whose coefficient is minus a square. So minus 2a squared minus a squared. So what we will have minus 3a squared. So it will be minus 3a squared cos theta. So we have to add these two terms and the sign we have to write the negative sign. And now next we could see that um, now here we have a squared cos squared theta. And do we have cos squared theta anywhere else? Yes we have here uh, that is a squared cos squared theta and we have a squared cos squared theta here. And here we have minus 2a squared cos squared theta so these three terms will get cancelled because a squared cos squared theta plus a squared cos squared theta is 2a squared cos squared theta and here we have minus 2a squared cos squared theta and those terms will get cancelled so now the left out term will be this 2a square which we can write here but uh, we have to add that with this so a square so the, finally this will be equal to 3a squared minus 3a squared cos theta now we will take this 3a squared out so it will be equal to 3a squared multiplied with 1 minus cos theta now we can further write this as 3a multiplied with so one of the uh, a i have taken out and so we will have 1a left out here so that we can change this and we can write in terms of r for that reason i am making this kind of split up so this can be written as 3a multiplied with a multiplied with 1 minus cos theta but what is this from the question this is r and so the value this value is equals to 3a r and so therefore the denominator is equal to 3a r so now we have evaluated the numerator and the denominator separately and so we will substitute in the radius of curvature so therefore the radius of curvature will be equal to what is the numerator that we have evaluated it is here the numerator that we have evaluated is 
two a r whole to the power of three by two. So that we will write here. So two a r whole to the power of three by two divided by the denominator is three a r. Now if you check out here, this three by two is a power which is common to each of the terms. So we can separate this and we can write it as two raised to the power of three by two. A raised to the power of three by two. R raised to the power of three by two divided by three a r. Now here we have a to the power one and here also r to the power one. When they go to the numerator, they will change as so. This will be two three by two divided by three. Now here we will have a to the power of three by two negative one. So this one when it goes to the numerator, it will become minus one and we can add the powers of a. Similarly, r to the power of three by two minus one, and now that this will be equal to now this two can be written as actually two to the power of okay two two cube whole to the power of one by two, and then this becomes a to the power of three by two minus one is one by two, and then r to the power of one by two divided by three. Now this two cube can be written as so this will be equal to two multiplied with two multiplied with two square root of this divided by three and then a raised to the power of one by two can be written as root a and r raised to the power of one by two can be written as root r so that is equal to further now square root of these three multiplication of these three these two comes out of the square root as two and then square root of two divided by three. Multiplied with square root of a square root of r. Now whatever is inside the root together we can write, and so it will become two by three square root of two a r. So therefore the radius of curvature for the for the given curve is rho is equal to two by three square root of two a r. So therefore the radius of curvature of the cardioid is given by two by three square root of two a r. So this is an important question in uh, in the examination point of view. Hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.